Your real estate agent kind of sucks if they got you a ton of offers when they were selling your house. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. If your real estate agent is bragging about getting you 12, 15, or 20 offers, then you should actually be asking them to reduce their commission because, quite frankly, they kind of suck. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. Welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that like and subscribe button below. And if you want to talk real estate mano y mano, then find my information in the description below as well. So you wanted to sell your house. You hired an agent. Maybe you even hired your aunt's best friend. After spending a whole 20 minutes with you and briefly going over the process, they list your house for sale. Your house goes on the market. And after the first weekend, they have 18 offers to present to you. You should be elated and over the moon, right? Wrong. If your agent's bringing you 12, 15, or 20 offers or more, then I would be demanding some type of concession in their real estate fee. Why, you ask? Because they have proven their incompetence of reading the market and properly marketing a property. I know, I know. You're saying, how can that be if they brought me 18 offers? The most important part of a marketing package is price. If you have a ton of offers on your home, then that means that the most important piece of your marketing package was way off. The quote unquote professional you hired didn't do their job. They didn't properly read the market and the current market conditions. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have five, or I would say maybe max at 10 offers, that probably means that you price the home at or slightly below where the market currently is. And this could be a great strategy to get some better terms like maybe appraisal gap coverage or more lenient home inspection terms. And of course, an escalation of price. But when you price a property far below its fair market value, then that means you are marketing to the wrong set of buyers. Buyers that don't even have a chance of buying your house. Now let's say your house is worth 600,000 and you list it for 500,000. Then you are in turn talking to the wrong market segment. It would kind of be like uh, Chanel marketing their purses to one of my daughters. It's great for my daughters. They'll most likely love to come in and check out all these beautiful purses, but they aren't buying one anytime soon. That I can guarantee you. Marketing 101, you want to market to your target audience. And it's a natural inclination for a buyer to look towards the top of their price range. So a house that sells for 20% over the seller's initial asking price blew an opportunity to talk with a group of more qualified buyers. Did the house sell? Yes, of course it did. And for the record, pretty much anything under price, it's going to sell. But did you leave some money on the table? The other issue with houses that sell so far over a seller's asking price is that I see more appraisal issues for these type of scenarios. It becomes a little harder for an appraiser to justify a 15 or 20% over asking price evaluation. You pay a lot of money to have an agent represent you. You need to demand a full market analysis that breaks down your town as well as the market dynamics of what's going on in your town. Are there any trends that you need to be aware of? Maybe increasing inventory in the last week or two or a slump of sales. These are the questions and the professionalism that you should demand when you sit down with an agent to discuss the home selling process. Because just looking at the comps, it isn't enough, especially in this market when you have home values increasing by 1% a month. Using a comp that sold just five months ago is a property that today is 5% below today's current market value. So yeah, selling a house and having 15 or 20 offers is not a sign of a job well done. It's a sign of incompetence and one that you as a consumer should probably be pretty angry about. Maybe even be demanding some type of retribution for failed representation. If your house has gone under agreement, then you might be interested in knowing about one of the final steps of the home selling process, the final walkthrough. Click this video on the screen now to learn more about the home selling process.